Welcome to Monday Racing here at Laurel Park. Our feature race is the eighth race in allowance optional claiming 40, a mile and 16th on the dirt, a couple of nice ones that we have coming in, trying at this distance yet again today. They are in the gate. And they're off. Miss Remy Amerabiglio also got a sharp break, but will settle down now. Lady Whistledown moving forward on the inside. Lady Whistledown puts the neck in front. So Lady Whistledown now fishers in between horses with early speed. Under the outside there is Miss Remy. Three across the track at HOV Lane tracks the trio. Meraviglioso, musical cat, and raise your game trails the field. Charging down the backstretch run now, head to head for the lead. It's on the outside Miss Remy on the inside fishers. It together H O V Lane racing in third position while three wide heading into the turn and here comes Mira Viglioso moving solid to second now Mira Viglioso second on the outside about to challenge Miss Remia for the lead and so Mira Viglioso raise your game rolling from the back of the pack the red cap wild three wide moving into third Fishers is in fourth H O V Lane and musical cat and lady whistle down trailing the field top of the stretch with a quarter of a mile left to go it's Mira Viglioso taking a on for home. Mira Viglioso tries to kick away from Raise Your Game. Musical Cat, way of the center of the track. Fishers continues the battle down to the inside for a long and a half left to run. And for between horses, HOV Lane's trying to pick up two. One for a long left to go. Mira Viglioso, Musical Cat on the outside. Fishers third. Then Raise Your Game fourth. HOV Lane fifth. Yards to go. Mira Viglioso and the x man They're coming home to win two and a half. Musical Cat was second and Fishers HOV late of the photo with Raise your game. And they're off. First to break of the rail is Crazy Cater, but now at gun by Speed Gabe on the far outside. Smile Brian with early speed. Daddy's Cozy's right there too. As Crazy Cater will settle back in the fourth position, and it's a gap of about two or three lengths back. And Mint Game on the inside. One two kid is next, and Go Poke the Bear racing back of the pack with Resident Liberal, and then Fermat and trailing the field outside is Toe Curlin Kiss. Seventeen or eighteen lengths will cover front to back. They race down the back stretch, and it's Speed Game up top. Speed Game about a length from Daddy's Cozy, second by two lengths. Smile Brian is third and Crazy Cater has five or six to make up now. Mint game, go poke the bear is on the outside and the inside is Resident Liberal. Then it's back to one, two kid. The back of the pack still Fermat and Toe Curl and Kiss. Heading into the far turn is a challenge now for speed game. Heading into the far turn, speed game now. An outside now challenging for the lead and grabbing the lead. There goes Daddy's Cozy. Daddy's Cozy's up top and Daddy's 
Cozy gets away. Speed game second. Smile Brian trying to get motivated from third. Crazy Cater is in fourth. Mint game is next in fifth. Resident Liberal back to one, two, kid. Then go poke the bear in firm. Matt and toe curl and kiss. Top of the stretch, Daddy's Cozy kicks away a five-length advantage. Mint game closing toward the center of the course is second. One, two, kid. Also some late momentum to Smile Brian is right there. And that second flight, Daddy's Cozy's leads down to two and a half lengths. Mint game. Mint game on the outside. Mint game keeps on charging. Daddy's Cozy. Mint game. Daddy's Cozy. Mint game. Smile Brian was third. One, two, kid. Then firm out of crazy, Cater. Ready, race three. And they're off. Destiny Joy was on first. Here's Get Them Digits speeding up on the outside and pressing concern down of the rail. So pressing concern and Get Them Digits racing one, two. Into third now is Robbed in the Bahamas and followed by the favorite connecting along to fourth. Destiny Joy broke sharp but drops back a bit. Brother Merle the two path. The outside is syncopated three deep to the turn and Tego trailing the field. A speed up pressing concern takes them out of the far turn from Get Them Digits. The lead is a length. Two more lengths and connecting is third and fourth is Robbed in the Bahamas. So it's a gap of three or four. Back to Destiny Joy and syncopated. And Brother Merle second to last position. Tago trailing the field. Racing for home now, top of the stretch, pressing concern from Get Them Digits about a length and a half, and connecting on the outside, driven along, connecting third center of the track and trying to close, but pressing concern still there, pressing concern by three, with one furlong left to go. It's Get Them Digits, the outside is connecting, they're headed head for second, and closing on the outside, Destiny Joy into fourth, but plenty to do to get the pressing concern, pressing concern just holding, pressing concern will do it from connecting to win by a length. Get Them Digits was third, robbed in the Bahamas, Destiny Joy.
and they're off. Born for victory, fast away on the inside. Cut a go to never silence on the outside. Also, Mad Genius showing some early speed and spritzers right there, but Born for victory clears. Born for victory, never silence rushing to second, and Mad Genius right there in the early mix. Now to make three across the track. Bet the over from fourth and spritzer fifth. Union Fleet, the favorite six outside and six off of speed. Another two back of the pack. We have Cotigal, and the inside is Garatoff. Heading on to the far turn, four and one half furlongs left to go. Born for victory at a solid clip. Now on the outside, Union Fleet. Union Fleet with a quick bid up to take the lead. Union Fleet over Born for victory, rounding that turn. Two and a half more. Never silence retreats. Mad Genius taking third of the inside. Spritzer's got six to make up now into the far turn run. Bet the over not doing much. Back to Cotigo and trading the field is Garatoff. Midway on the turn, Union Fleet now by five and expanding. Born for victory second. The outside Spritzer, then Mad Genius out of the inside. The others have plenty of work to do. Cardigo is next racing along in fifth and bet the over on the inside. Into the stretch and it's all Union Fleet now eight in front from Born for Victory. Spritzer on the outside and Mad Genius in fourth as they pass the furlong marker. Union Fleet and Angel Cruz just going to pose with the picture now for track photographer Jimmy McHugh. It's Union Fleet. Union Fleet wrapped up at the end. Wins at seven to five over Born for Victory second. Then it was Spritzer, followed by Mad Genius and Codigo. The Maryland Jockey Club's Canner for a Cause cantered on with just over 300 entrants this year. Coming from far and wide in this unique event to walk, trot, and canter over the famed Pimlico race course that showcased historic legends and champions. The only event of this type founded by George Ann Hale. All benefits go to the renowned nonprofit, the Thoroughbred Aftercare Alliance. Well, this is a great event. I think it really showcases the thoroughbred can come out here and, and ride and come back to the racetrack and not have any issues. It's a great event for awareness and fundraising. And I think it's a great community event, especially with, with these people bringing OTTBs, because when they bring them here and they get to showcase them in front of everyone else, I think it's really fun. And because it's close to Halloween this year, we've seen a lot of great costumes, so that's good too. I think a lot of people assume that the racehorse ever came back to the track that they would not be able to handle it. And we've seen today lots of horses come through the gate with little kids being let out and things are fun. So yeah, I think once they're out of that racehorse mode for the most part and they can come out to the track and enjoy themselves and I think depending on what they're being trained for, they come back here and they know that this rider wants to canter slow or walk or trot, so it's good. It's good. And they're off. Sharp break for Royne and power back. The outside is Cannon's Roar along with the great Clinton Maroon. Now they're going to speed forward and make four sorting out early. Next is King's Honor. is racing along about five lengths on the speed, three deep into that turn run. As they round the turn, Kendama's down to the inside. And in between horses, Street Copper is now seven from the early pace. And other things equal Passport racing back of the pack and Saranac trailing the field. It's Clint Maroon going on as the gray. Leads at about a length and a half from Cannon's Roar. The same margin power back on 
hurried radling along in third position there and roaring out of the clear racing fourth also in no hurry on the outside is king's honor ken damas on the inside street copper is next in between horses back to passport other things equal last is saranac in 11th heading off of the far turn not much change clint maroon rolling right along with about a three length advantage from cannon's roar power back third of the inside length and a half more roin is in fourth then to the inside is kendama racing fifth outside is king's honor in six has five and a half to make up into the far turn run they're coming after clint maroon now cannon's roar first to quicken up to second on the outside roin's ready to roll as well roin out of the clear and the green cap coming with a run two and a half lengths off a speed and power back right there still with a live chance king's honor street copper in behind horses in a little bit of traffic and kendama saving ground there at the top of the stretch they make the turn for home and it's cannons roar with the lead cannons roar roin on the outside coming with a run now roin confident ride the far outside at cannons roar cannons roar is trying to hang on for another furlong now put to a drive outside roin set down roin's up to the lead roin cannons roar is fighting but roin's got it under figure lynch roin roin to do it a half length from cannons roar second hanging in third that was clinton maroon then it was kendama the outside was saranac in the next picture as well And they're rough. Laramar sent out for early speed from the inside. Lady Serenity and Liquidator. The outside creative cadence will settle to the back of the pack now. Moving through is a blow through yellow lights on the chase now. It is Laramar blow through yellow lights on the scene to second spot. And Lady Serenity in third. Miss Fussy Pants is fourth. Liquidator is in fifth. Creative cadence and Rousey Express and Modelo Rubia trailing the field. Blow through yellow lights into the fire turn run. Lady Serenity bidding at Laramore for second. And outside is creative cadence also moving up three wide to the second flight. It's other two to Rousey Express and Liquidators only five and a half from the front. Miss Fussy Pants has dropped back and Modelo Rubia trailing the field with two and one half furlongs left to go. And the leader is blow through yellow lights. The outside creative cadence continues to come with some run. Laramore angles off the inside there. The deep outside is Rousey Express. They're into the stretch now. And up on the outside is Laramore is coming back for more. Laramore blow through yellow lights rousey express and liquidator lara moore and blow through yellow lights with a 16th left to go rousey express trying to roll on the scene late lara moore lara moore from blow through yellow lights and rousey express third liquidator finished fourth
down to six to five. And they're off. Bobby G, slow to begin. Mr. Hustle on the far outside, Anaconda the favorite has early speed, and Mata's right there, too, tugging along that turn run, and here's Passion Play, racing forth, I'll let the speed go on about four off the lead, and back to Ever Dangerous is in between horses, going to lead on the outside, Scarlet Sky, Dendrobia back of the pack with Bobby G trailing the field, the leader, Mata. Mata rounding the turn, leads it about a length from Mr. Hustle, who's second, and Anaconda on the inside, on hold in third position, another two, Passion Play racing forth, Ever Dangerous, Dangerous in between horses in fifth, then going to the lead in a gap of three more lengths of the others, then Drobius Scarlet Sky side by side. They're a good dozen lengths off of Mata and Bobby G trailing the field. Half mile left to go. Mata the pacemaker, length and a half from Mr. Hustle and Anaconda. Right there, third of the inside. Passion play ever dangerous. Only four and a half, five lengths covers the first five. Another two to going to the lead. Scarlet Sky is next, then Bobby G second to last, and then Drobia trailing the field into the far turn. Mr. Hustle Hustle coming to put the pressure on Mata. Mata and Mr. Hustle hook up, and Anaconda's waiting in the wings. Right there, third with a quarter of a mile left to go, and called on for run is Anaconda, who's going to switch to the outside for the stretch drive. Mata's holding on to the lead from Mr. Hustle. Anaconda third on the outside. Every dangerous, followed by Passion Play. They've got a furlong left to go. Anaconda. Anaconda's got the kick now. Anaconda's in front, a 16th left to go, and pulling away a couple of lengths from Mata second, and there is Mr. Hustle who will just claim second in the line. Mata was third, followed by Passion Play and Ever Dangerous. It's Anaconda. And they're off. The King Cheek fastest away from Monday morning quarterback and depository on the outside and Majestic Frontier fourth of the four as they move round that turn. And so on the inside, the King Cheek at Depository going to go on. And Depository guns to the front now. About a length and change in front from the King Cheek in second. Another three lengths back, and it's Monday morning quarterback. Traveling third position, just three to four off the speed. And Majestic Frontier trailing. They head now to the six furlong mark down the backstretch run. Depository settling in up front, about a length and a quarter in front. The King Cheek outside is Monday morning quarterback about the three path. Monday morning quarterback going right now toward the front as 
the King Cheek puts that head in front. Monday morning quarterback on the outside. Depository's backed off of it in third position. Another six or seven back in Majestic Frontier trailing the field. Heading for the far turn, about four furlongs left to go. The King Cheek willing to come back for more. Monday morning quarterback there on the outside. Monday morning quarterback maybe the half ahead in front as they round the turn from the King Cheek who continues to give a good battle. Depository now fully extended from third. Majestic Frontier is fourth of the four with three furlongs left to go. Monday morning quarterback up top opening up two and a half and now three two and a half furlongs out from the King Cheek and it's another seven back and Depository Majestic Frontier is trying to pick up third after the tired Depository drops back on the outside into the stretch and it's Monday morning quarterback in front a little pressure there for Monday morning quarterback responding drifting to the center of the track just a bit opens up about a five length lead the King Cheek is battling second with Majestic Frontier is well back in third with a 16th left to go Monday morning quarterback and the King Cheek on the inside trying to come back for a little more but it's Monday morning quarterback to hold a win by about a length at the end from the King Cheek and it's a William Humphrey double Majestic Frontier and Depository. And they're off. Down to the inside, Astor early speed down, cold extreme outside. Here is Recycle rolling up. Recycle up to take the lead early from Vladislav down to the inside, and down Coles after speed will settle right off them in third position. Consultant travels fourth out of the turn run. They're followed on the inside by Midnight Tequila, Sir Te racing on the outside, back to Nikki Bayer, and next in the back of the pack is West Newton, alongside of West Newton. Uh, comes uh, Callaway, rather, Nicky Bear. And so they're two and a half lengths back, and it's Super E racing third to last, and Callaway peaks second to last, and trailing the field is Virginia Fuller. Recycle at a quick pace, leads them by some three to four lengths down the back stretch run. Down cold is second, Vladislav is racing in third, and Consultant in striking range of the pace there in fourth. Another two, Sir Ter is in fifth. Nicky Bear on the outside of Midnight Tequila, back to West Newton, Super E. West Newton and Super E still some 13 to 14 off the pace. A Callaway Peak and way back is Virginia Fuller heading into the far turn. Recycle still the one to catch it. A three length lead from down cold. Try to get closer there. Second spot and Consultant on a roll now on the outside. Consultant taking third and taking aim into the far turn run. Sir Ter on the outside of Vladislav is five from the front as well. Another two to Midnight Tequila. Nikki Bear and Callaway Peak at the far outside. Wes Newton still about a dozen for the lead at the top of the lane. They make the turn for home and Consultant. Consultant. Consultant off the turn, takes that lead now. Consultant and tried to shift in a bit as Sir Terre, but coming with a bit of a bit, even though shifting in on the inside there is Recycle, still resilient, resilient Recycle. And just in front is Consultant with a furlong left to go. Sir Terre on the far outside. It is going to be Consultant holding sway. Consultant there to win it by a neck. Consultant, Consultant. Or Sir Terre second. And Callaway Peak rolled up there, then Recycle followed by Down Cold Fifth.
that concludes our first Monday racing experiment here in November. Racing starts on Friday, post time, 12-15.